Well, good morning or afternoon or whenever you're watching this. It's thankful Thursday as I'm recording this. Welcome to our daily time of reflection and prayer. My name is Rich Schmidt, one of the pastors here at Living Hope Community Church. Uh, Psalm 100 says, Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good, and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Uh, we have much to be thankful for. Even in those times when life has us anxious or afraid, we can know that God is faithful and will be with us through it all. Uh, what did we just read? I mean, he made us. We are his, his people, the sheep of his pasture. <laughs> that last bit reminds me, of course, of Psalm 23, where David, the shepherd boy who became king, describes God as a shepherd who cares for his sheep, providing them a shelter, walking with them through the dark times that would make us afraid, except except we know that God is with us, so we don't need to fear. Let me go ahead and read Psalm 23. It's short, uh, this time from a different translation uh, than I'm used to, um, just to make me hear it with fresh ears, and maybe you too. Uh, this is the Common English Bible. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He lets me rest in grassy meadows. He leads me to restful waters. He keeps me alive. He guides me in proper paths for the sake of his good name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no danger because you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they protect me. You set a table for me right in front of my enemies. You bathe my head in oil. My cup is so full it spills over. Yes, goodness and faithful love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the Lord's house as long as I live. God, my good shepherd, gives me rest. He provides for my needs. He sustains my life. He guides my steps. He walks with me through darkness and danger so that I will not give in to fear. He honors me, welcomes me into his home, and his goodness and faithful love never leave me. And that psalm just kind of lists good things that God does for us. In those times when we're not feeling very thankful, when we find ourselves anxious or afraid or frustrated, it can be good to remind ourselves of these things, to not let our thoughts remain focused on the negative, but instead to focus our thoughts on the positive, on who God is, what he does for us, to recognize these good things and to give him thanks. Uh, that's what the Apostle Paul talks about in Philippians chapter 4. It, it's tempting to read the whole thing right now because I think it's all connected. I mean, here's Paul writing from prison to friends he loves and wants to encourage, and he tells them, starting in verse 6, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me, everything you heard from me and saw me doing, then the God of peace will be with you. It's important for us to tell God what we need. But it's also important to thank God for all he's done. And instead of letting our thoughts stay on the negative, the things we don't like, we have the ability, with God's help, to fix our thoughts on the positive, what is good and true and beautiful. If we do these things, we experience God's peace. So I want us to put this into practice today, to make a list of things that we're thankful to God for, things that he has done for us, things that are true and good that we want to fix our thoughts on. Uh, you might start with just three or four things. But once you start making this list, I mean, frankly, it can be pretty hard to stop. So uh, we're actually going to do this today, all right? So you can jot this on a piece of paper. You can type it in the comments. You can text it to someone, put it on your calendar if you need to, whatever works, all right? Uh, while you're getting ready, getting something there to, to make your list on, I found that it helps to get specific. Instead of just saying, thanks God for my friends, go on and list specific friends and why you thank God for them. You know, thank God for that friend who always makes you laugh, for the friend who's there for you whenever you need them, for the friend who inspires you with their thoughtfulness or courage or whatever it might be. Name them and thank God for whatever good thing about them it is that you appreciate. Uh, I'm going to give us maybe a minute or so to start making this list. Of course, you can continue after the video is over. Uh, 
continue making that list. Keep Make it longer. Make it as long as you want. Um, but starting now, we'll have maybe a minute. Uh, and while you do this, I'm going to give you a list of prompts to spark your thinking about some of the good things that you might thank God for. Uh, you don't have to keep up with this list or anything. Just jot down whatever comes to mind and maybe even uh, thank God for the items as you list them. So I've already mentioned friends. What about family members? Uh, maybe someone from church. Maybe some neighbor, a classmate, a co-worker. Uh, is there some online resource that you find helpful since you're watching this online? Is there something about where you live? Is there something outside, something out in God's creation you're thankful for? Is it maybe something that you really enjoy eating or drinking? Is there some convenience of modern life that you get to enjoy, that you're thankful that someone invented or someone else made? Is there something about your body? Is there a favorite moment of the day? How about a song or a movie or a book, some other artistic work? Is there something true that you've learned or been reminded of recently? Is there something that's made you smile? Okay, if after all of that, you haven't come up with three or four or a dozen things to be thankful for, good and beautiful things to fix your thoughts on today, please reach out to me because you are evidently in some serious need of care and encouragement. All right, uh, let's pray. And let's start with this prayer of thanks from the Book of Common Prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace, and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. We are grateful to you, Lord God, for all that you have done for us. We want to live lives that express that gratitude, that overflow with thanksgiving for your love and grace. Help us, especially in times of stress, grief, anxiety, frustration. Help us to tell you what we need and help us to thank you for all that you've done. And help us to do both, God, so that we can experience your peace to experience your presence, your loving, gracious presence with us. Thank you, God, for all that you have done. And now let's pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us, not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now, I want to close with these words from uh, another one of the Apostle Paul's letters. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts 
since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Amen.